Yeah, and doing some online research, I found a, a centennial history of the town I live in. And it's actually uh, the centennial book. It's from uh, the Library of Congress. Uh, this is online. I couldn't find it in print. This was actually published in 1953. And of course, the centennial 1853 when the town was actually founded. It actually goes back a little further than that as far as the settlers and who owned the land before it became the town and stuff like that. And I am I have found this absolutely amazing. There is so much history here in this little town of 7,000 people, which you think is just a humdrum little Midwestern town, but there is so much history here. Um, I showed you the memorial for the uh, veterans and the library and the cannon, and where that stands now, this was there. It's a fountain. It was called the uh, park, the uh, Litchfield Park, which now it's called Library Park. Uh, in the center of it, it's it's like a it's a block, a city block, or, or a town block. There was this fountain, and it had an iron fence around it, and it was a circular fountain. And they used to keep two alligators in it. If you can read that. It says they often kept baby alligators in the pool. <laughs> this stuff totally amazes me. Uh, you know, I found stuff about our oldest uh, lake. It was actually uh, built in the uh, 18, late 1800s. <sighs> so I know that that park has got to have some good relics, maybe some coins, um, in 1905, they held the first Chautauqua there with Williams Jennings, William Jennings Bryant. And uh, I've got pictures in this book of all that. Uh, so there's got to be some good stuff to find there. I found out that at one point, there was the largest flour mill in the world right in our town until the day it exploded. <laughs> of course, there's no trace of it anymore. But it just uh, the history that's there is just amazes me, and it all shows. Of also, there was I know there were coal mines here, a couple coal mines, but there was also oil wells. When they were drilling for coal, they hit oil, and there was a natural gas uh, wells here. This particular well that it's showing right here in this picture says. It was located south of the present radiator company, which the radiator plant no longer exists. Uh, I think I've showed it to you in some of my motor vlogging uh, films. It's just an empty factory now with most of the buildings were torn down. This was just south of that, which means this oil well was like three blocks from my house. And I never, ever knew there was anything out there. It's just a field. It's a farm field. There was nothing there. This stuff, you know, if you don't go back through the history of your town and find out this stuff, you don't know what you're missing. This is a photo of the, uh, where it says the first Chautauqua was held in uh, 1905, I believe. And this is Walton Park Lake. This is where I have uh, made a couple motor vlogs. Uh, I've went out here and done a couple uh uh, metal detecting videos. So I know this is the one that was actually the dam was built over a creek in uh, the 1800s. So I know that this place has a lot of stuff to find. It's just finding it. And you can't go digging big holes in the park. You know, I know that. But um, I got to get a better, better metal detector and get out to these places. And if I could get out to the other Chautauqua, uh, that would be so awesome. I did read now that there were like uh, 60 cabins out at the other Chautauqua. So there has to be just a ton of stuff in that ground. Just like this building here, this was an old livery stable. And... This is right in right in the very downtown 
next to the very first stoplights we ever had. This building now is a gas station. This is all a gas station. It's all paved, so you can't find anything there. This building here still exists. That building is still there. It's very old and in very bad shape, but this photo was taken in 1900. Then I'll move on over here. These are pictures of the other Chautauqua. This is the land that my brother used to own. Uh, he doesn't own it anymore. My ex-sister-in-law owned part of it. I don't know. She used to own the whole thing. I don't know that she owns the whole thing anymore. Um, yes, there was a train wreck when the trestle across the dam gave way. And this has been, I, I can't even read the year on that. But there's one of the cabins. Um, uh, here's a uh, uh, thing that went across the lake, a little walkway, and it actually, when my brother lived there, they had actually raised the level of the lake water, and you could just see the tops. This, this doesn't exist anymore, but these pilings were still there, and you could just see the tops of them poking out of the water. Um, used to be a railroad that ran across it. Like I said, that was the inner urban that ran from this town to the next town over. Um, there's just some old pictures of some of the gatherings. Um, that kind of tells you about it right there if you want to just freeze this and read it. Uh, if I can get access to that, man, that would be some rich hunting grounds. And here's another picture of the uh, park that is now called Library Park. Uh, way back, uh, looks like this was taken about 1900. And you can see uh, that it actually had a little um, gazebo that was built later on. And they held a lot of functions there. So I know that that piece of property has a lot on it but I'd probably never be able to dig in it just because it's um, main city property. The library's there now. The Veterans Memorial's there. Um, you know, so I don't know that we would ever be able to actually dig on it. But, yeah, I mean, th this is just blowing me away, this stuff, and finding out this stuff is just blowing me away. Here's a picture of our main street. Um, in 1907 this was decoration day and you can see that it was a mud street it had a trolley with rail lines going right down the center and I do remember vaguely those um, those railroad lines I don't remember when they took them out I just vaguely vaguely remember something about them so I think they just kind of paved around them for a long time after the trolley quit running uh, but you could see it had board sidewalks, which brings me to another <laughs> missed opportunity. Uh, I watched a video where these metal detectorists had gone to uh, um, one uh, town in Idaho where they tore up the street and they were replacing the main street in town. And they found all kinds of old money, old coins. Um, and that had fallen in the street, the mud streets, and in the under the board sidewalks. And just a few years ago, our town replaced the sidewalks. And if I would have had the brains back then to get out my metal detector and go up there and look, I probably could have found a ton of stuff. This this miss opportunity. <laughs> Yeah, it makes me want to cry, but what are you going to do?